welcome back to another week and welcome back to another studio vlog this is going to be a full week of work and i think it's going to be a chunky vlog because i'm actually going to take a week off like off youtube of editing i'm still going to post a video like a draw with me video um this week so when this vlog is up uh, that video will be posted already if you want to check that out um, So I'm going to be filming for two weeks and I have a lot of work to do in these two weeks So yeah, get ready for a chunky and chatty vlog I actually had my first orders on FAIR on the wholesale website So that's actually really really cool So I'm going to already start preparing some of it like the products that I had in stock I had to do some notebooks that I didn't have in stock and I really I need to do some uh, tote bags because tote bags socks and stuff like that I always made to order um, and I'm going to continue doing that for the wholesale and all of that just so I don't waste materials and stuff like that I'm actually going to do a market this weekend like for Saturday and Sunday so I thought I could try some new designs markets are always nice to that to do that and try new designs and see like how people react to them so yeah I also need to get ready for that so yeah you can see that it's a full week and I also want to do some more earrings and more necklaces because I want to do the um, pre-order really really soon and I also want to take the necklaces and new earrings for the markets because it's something that um, I noticed that people also go towards that. Basically if you do markets I think it's really nice to have products that people can use because sometimes people don't really know what to do with stickers and stuff like that and if they see like pins, keychains, earrings that's something that it's useful and that they can use so they are more inclined to buy some of those things if that makes sense but i'm really really excited to make the earrings and the necklaces again i already started making them like more than a month ago i think and then i had the second sale and all of that so that part was a little stopped so i can wait to um get on that again and get them for the market the last market uh, i had some ladies asking for necklaces so i'm really intrigued how that is going to go on markets see so yeah, i'm really excited about that i want to make some like simple ones um and more illustrated ones with more characters and stuff just to try it out and see which ones work better but yeah that's a uh, talk for another day um i'm going to get going on preparing those orders and preparing a lot of tote bags so let's go on with that Went to grab some tote bags and of course I don't have enough tote bags so I'm going to order some more and I'm going to do the ones that I can and then once I have more tote bags I'll do the tests and all of that. Oh, why?
Okay, I basically did a couple of tote bags since I didn't have enough to make. I had to make like five of this design here and I already had like six or something. Um, but they were different kinds. It's the ones that um, I use now and then some of the others that I used previously. So I didn't want to send like different tote bags in the same order. And I don't really want to send the tote bags that I used before since I'm not going to use them again. They burn um, quite easily. So I'm really enjoying these ones, even though they are a little thinner. Um, they work a lot better on the press. Um, but yeah, anyway, I did like one almost of each design that I had. Uh, since I'm going to have the market, I thought that since I'm going to... I was doing tote bags i might as well do already some tote bags for the market so i did this one did this 90s one and i also tried this design that i think it looks really really cute i would love to have it a little bigger um but i only have a4 uh, transfer sheets i might get a3 um sometime soon to try to make like a bigger area or something since my printer it's a3 so i can print them then i also did this one that normally people really enjoy so i'm going to take to the market as well this one is for an wholesale order but i'm also going to do one for the market and these ones i did previously but i didn't had this one to the shop yet uh, but i think it's a cute design so i'm going to add it soon and i did this positivity one also to take out to the market so i already have like a bunch of them uh, to take and i'm going to start preparing stuff a little bit with more time since last markets were kind of a mess um everything was like last minute so i'm glad that for this one i'm doing things with a little more time so i'm happy with those and these are ready for that so yeah now let's pack some orders that is the the other wholesale order that i have so i still have to do the tote bags that are arriving like wednesday or something it's now monday so um it's going to only go out on wednesday it's like a day that is supposed to go out so it's fine um but i'm going to pack the rest of them i also did this pin banner that i love so so much um for an order and so happy with it and i think i've showed you before on a previous studio vlog but i do this finish now i think they look so so nice i'm going to try to add some new designs for pin banners soon as well okay let's pack them washies ever arrived Yay. and this also arrived just in time let me show you it smells like an apple product what the hell you know that smell when you open an apple um product box that's exactly how it smells Ooh, it comes with a card thing so maybe i don't need to make thing to put on my uh, table so basically this is a card reader that i can take to market and then people can pay with like contactless and with cards and stuff like that so yeah that arrived just in time and i can wait and it's really cool that they put this thing so i can put this on the table on my mark and yeah that's pretty cool 
it's now the next day in the studio it's looking like a complete chaos um i have orders to pack i had four more orders yesterday because i did like a live packing orders on youtube so thank you so so much if you watched the live and if you made an order from my shop it really means the world and the washies have arrived i'm saving that box i only took like a little peek inside um because i'm actually going to be doing a live with my patrons unboxing the washi so i'm going to film some behind the scenes for you guys to see the live so yeah i'm going to have a live with my patrons unboxing the washies in like half an hour so until then i'm going to prepare some more orders but let me show you something really exciting that it's like in the works and that i've printed some tests yesterday so yeah let me show you so i'm making new pins and please don't mind the quality this is just like a draft kind of thing just to check on the sizes and yeah i'm going to have the little mountain one and a little moth um that has been decided on instagram that is called monty the moth so yeah really excited about this i'm going i was going to make it really small like a really small pin but the eyes are so small that I'm afraid I'll have like a lot of seconds. And then I tried to print it out in like 2.5 centimeters. Um, but I don't know, it still looks really, really small. So I think I'm going to print it out in like 3 centimeters. It's going to be like a bigger pin, but I think it still looks really, really cute in this side size. I prefer this one. Um, but yeah, I'm afraid it's going to have a lot of seconds and then i also um uh, i'm going to do like this mountain one it's going to be five centimeters and it's going to be so so cute i actually had two designs this one has screen printing on the mouth um and i actually did like the original design has some stripes on the mountains um, and I've put the image like on Patreon and like 90% of my patrons told me that they prefer um, this one and that the other one looked like watermelons and I never thought about that but now I can't really unsee it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do this one and this one and they look so cute. I can't wait to like make more pins and make my collection bigger. It's going to be so cool. I was kind of hoping that the pins will arrive like this month still, um, like I already ordered them uh, and all of that, um, but my manufacturer actually messaged me, um, I'm not sure if you are familiar with the situation that has been going on with China, it's kind of really scary um, and all of that, so they are basically at home and they can't leave, so that they are not working, the factory is closed, can't really make the pins. Um, um, and like I did some washi tapes with the mountains and with the moths so I was trying to wait for the pins and release them all together but honestly they have no idea when they are going to open and the situation over there it's like a big mess um, so yeah I'm not sure if I should wait because it can be a month it can be two months I'm not even sure um, maybe I should release the washi tapes and the stickers and then the pins later but yeah I would love to release them all together but I'm not sure yeah I can't really wait I'm not sure how long I'm even supposed to wait so yeah it's a big mess I was really hoping to release them all together but yeah things that you can't really control ah, what a mess anyway i'm going to prepare some orders and then i'm going to do the live with patrons and i'm so excited i can't wait to open the washies yay then i can finally start preparing the patreon goodies and finishing them the washies are okay Okay, here's the live setup. I have this camera over here and then I have my computer over there. I have like that is the camera that I have on that side and this is my computer camera and this is like the setup that I use. It's pretty simple but it does the trick and that camera it's not really good quality but at least I can do like two views, you know. <laughs> to see like some behind the scenes things. Okay, let's open it. I'm so afraid. Oh my God. Last time that the washies arrived, um, 
like there were some problems with the washies they were ripping apart very easily and all of that so hopefully they are okay i'm so nervous okay let's go okay colors look really really weird <laughs> oh my god i hope this is not a fail okay can you see okay i'm not sure that you can see because sometimes colors look a little weird but then when i swatch them they are okay so hopefully that's okay um i can tell by this ones like they look a lot darker okay we have the mountain ones <laughs> okay then oh my god this looks oh. yeah this looks really weird the colors look really weird okay so this is all the washies <laughs> yay <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Someone messaged me on Instagram when I shared the mountain ones um, letting me know that I forgot the N on mountains and then with everything going on I forgot to change it! So it's mountain now! Why? I forgot to add the N and people let me know and I forgot <laughs> Oh my god, did I change the positivity one? Because the first time that I ordered them, they had a mistake. I didn't change it as well. <laughs> it says it doesn't have an eye. <laughs> Why? Okay, so this sticker has a little problem. <laughs> but it's still cute. I think it's one of my favorite stickers for sure. Okay, so here's the mess. <laughs> after the unboxing um these are the washies this is the one that i ordered exclusively for patrons it's like the pond king kind of theme then we have the moth ones that look like this then i also order a restock for the positivity ones we have the cottage ones the mushroom ones and this is, I think, my favorite, that it's the mountain ones. And I realized during the live, what a huge fail. One of you let me know on Instagram um, that I was missing an N on the mountains and I forgot to change it. And I also ordered this one wrong again without the I after the T. Oh my god, why? Why do I always forget these things? I always have to write everything down or else I forget, forget it. But, oh god, why? I forgot to write it down, so I forgot to change it. <laughs> anyway, these are the washies that are swatched. These are all of them. And actually, I noticed, I started to notice that the washies were a little bit darker than I expected and you can definitely see in this one um, like I don't mind because the colors pop a lot more and I think these first washies were a little too um, light for me you can see over here the designs don't have a lot of contrast or anything like that so it's not that i mind a lot i think for the moths one that works really well for the frog one as well because the colors really pop and also for the mountain ones but like this tree i'm not, I'm not sure um they look a little weird one of the reasons why most creators um, have a hard time sharing like about manufacturers and all of that and that's why I also don't share openly like I share with my patrons um, and all of that um, but it's always like even if you really enjoy manufacturer even if you love working with them uh, you never know if the quality will maintain and if you give them the email and their like info and like one of you guys will order from that and then you receive your washi tapes and you are not happy with that like i will feel guilty about it because i was the one that gave you that information so if sometimes you wonder why people don't really want to disclosure like manufacture information for one they are not obligated um obligated to you it's like you don't enter a shop and ask for their manufacturer or anything like we don't have to share manufacturers if you don't want to that's the first thing and two 
these things happen and sometimes the quality it's not like really like all the time the same so yeah i'm still quite happy with them i'm just they just don't have like the colors that i hope they would but i'm still going to compare the designs on the computer i'm going to print them out uh because that's the thing i do the designs in rgb and then i pass them to cmyk and there there i might be in like some changings in the colors that i didn't notice or something like that but i think they still look really really cute and they look very bright and colorful yeah i'm really happy with them still they look really really cute look yeah so that is that i did the unboxing i did the live and all of that so i need to go out and prepare some orders so i'll speak to you guys in a little bit and I also have to wonder where I'm going to put all of these washi tapes. This is my washi storage right now. And I think it looks really, really cute. This fit the, like I normally wa order 50 washi tapes um, at a time. And they fit the 50 here perfectly. But as you can see, they occupy like a lot of space. And I seen catnip using one of those like um, organizers for documents and stuff. Um, and they fit like vertically so they fit a lot more uh, washies um, like designs more in quantity so yeah I think I'm going to do that and try to figure out like a storage because these ones are already full I have some here in the back and all of that I have some in there um, so yeah it kind of looks like a mess and I need to figure out like a better storage solution so yeah Washies are finally here, so I can finally pack Patreon goodies, yay! I'm finally catching up on Patreon goodies, which makes me so, so happy, like finally, uh, goodies have been taking so long to arrive, um, so yeah, I can finally pack them and send them out. I still have to do the pins for the frogs and the penguins, so since I'm going to be working on earrings and necklaces today, I'm going to do the same, um, everything at the same time, so a lot of things to do, so let's work on it. And I'm also going to give this one a try, so let's go! That's not going to work. I already cut it off 10 times and it almost didn't cut on the back. Like, <laughs> oh God, this is a very thick material, so I still have to cut it by hand. <laughs>
hi it's already tuesday <laughs> um it has been some rough couple of days so i basically didn't film anything i don't even know what i did on this vlog like last week i i don't know my life is a mess right now um basically last week um I was preparing for the market, uh, Mariana did some socks um, and we also tried some cloth, uh, like cleaning cloth, like for glasses and stuff, but it didn't work out really well, so I'm um, going to need to try that out again eventually, I wanted to take them all to markets, but anyway, she did that, she started to prepare Patreon boxes, which I'm going to show you in a little um, and then on Thursday um, I don't know if you remember I talked about a freelance work that I'm doing uh, for a client a couple of weeks ago I think I started in like middle of March or something so they called me and they needed like the final files on a very tight deadline so yeah that's what I've been doing I've been locked up in the house um, since Friday, Thursday, I'm not even sure, like I got out of the house to do the market on Saturday and Sunday um, but I was on my iPad the, the whole time basically and a little news, I got a new iPad <laughs> I got the other one, like my old one, in 2018 and I've been wanting to upgrade for a while. Basically, uh, I was doing this project and I needed to go a little faster and I was feeling like having a li very limited amount of layers on the other iPad was really um, making me go not as fast as I wanted. And yeah, it has been a long time since I want to upgrade but they are so freaking expensive so since the other one was working more than fine i never wanted to do that but i was getting really frustrated because i was panicking already and i was already so so anxious so yeah i just urged and i got myself a new ipad i got the 12.9 inches um it's the pro one i had the 2018 model and basically the thing that the reason that I bought it, it was because of the amount of layers that I can do on an A4. I normally work on A4s and in the other one I could do like 18 to 19 and on this one I can do 116, which is my mind, such a big difference. So yeah, really, really happy. The pen is a little weird. I had to get a new pen as well. It only arrived yesterday, so only yesterday I started to use it. Um, It's always doing some weird tilted thing. I have to look it up on YouTube, I'm not sure why it's doing that. But yeah, anyway, I did the market on Saturday and Sunday, I was doing uh, work on my iPad during the market and it was here on my hometown and yeah, it went really really well, I think it was the best market that I did so far it was two days, so that made the difference as well, like for the total amount that I made on the market but yeah, it was really nice, it was, it's always so nice to talk to people and all of that uh, there was a, t a lot of tourists in there, so it's always nice to practice my English and like person to person kind of thing and not like me talking to a camera so yeah it was kind of nice but yeah it has been some really rough and anxious um couple of days i'm just finishing the um, illustrations now um and yeah i did 500 I think it's 550 illustrations or something like that and I wanted to leave a big thank you to Mariana and Inês who helped me um, doing the coloring phase of the illustrations thank you so so much for helping me out in such short notice you guys are the best a huge step for me as well to ask for help which is really really hard but yeah I'm proud of myself for being able to do that um, but yeah let me show you the basically the state of the studio okay so here's all the patreon boxes that Mariana got ready I have to send them out in boxes because for the month of March I'm going to send out the washi tape so these are goodies from March and for April I'm going to send them all together uh, because yeah the washi tapes only arrived last week I don't know if it was last week or even more, I'm not even sure, it's like this month is already like three weeks for me, but yeah. And then she also started to mount some earrings so I could take them to the market. I sold two of them so I can't really show you them all, um, but look how cute they look. I love like these simpler ones, I think they look 
so so nice and i love these ones and i love also these ones that have like several pieces and stuff um i did some smaller charms so i could mount the the necklaces i had tried with some bigger ones but i think the smaller ones look a lot better and this is the display that i took to the market so it looks so so cute so yeah i have to pack uh, all of these ad addresses and also write the thank you cards still she also applied resin for the first time which was really really cool and these are the pins that i made for patreon so this is the march one which is the little frog and that is it for this week it's only tuesday now but i need to get going editing this studio vlog and before i finish a big big thank you to a sponsor of this video skillshare if you haven't heard about skillshare it's an amazing online community um full with thousands and thousands of online classes for basically everyone on every skill level you have classes on marketing on design on illustration on specifically like on procreate you have so so many if you are are looking to um, get an iPad and start with Procreate and digital illustration and stuff like that and you have classes on photography and all of that they have so so many cool stuff um, in there and if you if you are like on a more basic level or intermediate or you want to learn something or with a little more depth that's basically classes with for everyone my favorite things about the platform is that you can save classes you can schedule them you can mark them on your cal on your calendar you can follow teachers and i love saving classes on like different files and stuff so i can keep up and when i'm want to learn about a certain subject or I don't know if I don't want to like watch YouTube on the back I sometimes put like a Skillshare class and as I'm working or drawing and stuff like that like that I'm learning some new stuff which is really really cool the class I'm taking right now is drawing like character poses on Procreate how to make them more dynamic and all of that um, and it's been a while since I feel like sometimes my characters look a little stiff so I'm really uh, trying to improve that part as well like this year if you have been following me for some months now you know that I really want to improve my illustration and my style and all of that um, so I've been little by little trying to improve some st things like drawing characters with different ages um, like with different emotions and all of that um, and one of the things that I really want to improve is to not have my characters look so stiff i want to represent be able to represent more movement more poses and all of that so i think this class will really help me out um with that so yeah if you want to learn to use skillshare the first 1000 people to click the link in my description and using my code will get a one month free trial on skillshare premium so you can start exploring your creativity and all of these subjects uh today so yeah if you want to try that out check the link in my description yeah now it's the time that i'm going to end the vlog i have a lot to do this week um but yeah as i said i need to edit this vlog i have patreon boxes to pack i got like the biggest wholesale order that i had for like a hundred socks so stay tuned for next week's video where I'm going to try to make them. I don't even have a hundred socks in stock. I already ordered them. So yeah, wish me luck. Stay tuned for next week's video because I think it's going to be an interesting one to say the least. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. I need to get going on drawing and finishing the illustrations. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.